Pal World. This upcoming Pokemon-like shooter game has captivated the minds of many. In this game, you run around trying to survive, but also you collect these things called Pal. And with those Pals, you can use them for combat, building, and traversal. I like to think of it as just Pokemon with guns. One thing about it, though, is that I wish their designs were a little more realistic, so I'm gonna do that today. The first pal we're gonna be making realistic is Grizzbolt. He's like the face of the game. I mean, literally, he's everywhere. The first thing I did was add in a reference. Then using the pen tool, I started cutting out the body. I filled that in just with a color, and then I started cutting out the arms as well as the head. I also made shapes for the gloves, or at least I think they're gloves, then I made a shape for the belly as well as the bolt on its stomach, and that looked alright. After that I finally started adding some nice fur in. I used the warp tool to warp to run the head. And for the top of the body I used this fur and turned that yellow. For the rest of the body I just used the same fur from the head. I then went on and started making shapes for the eyes and mouth. And this looks, uh... Yeah. I then faded out all the hard edges on the fur. I did this for literally everywhere it both furs touched. I then started adding some well needed shadows and this just gave it a lot of shape. These shadows just tried to emulate muscles and I guess it worked. It really needed it on the head. As well as the eyes because the eyes just looked a little too flat right now. I then added this leather texture to both of the gloves as well as the bolt. And this looked pretty good. I then added shadows to the gloves and the bolt respectively. Using the fur brush I just masked out part of the bolt. This makes it look like it's actually in the fur and just not on top of it. I then did the exact same thing for the whole rest of the body and this took absolutely forever. Some well needed shading on the eyes made it look like it was actually in the head and not just laying on top of it. With the pen tool I just drew in these nice pupils and made them black. I just duplicated those pupils and put them on the other eye as well. I tried to recreate eye sockets with shadows and you know it actually worked. Then using this cute little buddy's nose I put this guy's nose on. That was a weird sentence. I distorted it to make it match the dimensions of the original. Then I faded it in with the nice fur brush as well as putting some real nice shadows just underneath it. I cut out this fox's ear and started distorting it onto the grizz bolt. I duplicated it to the other side and then started making the pink inside the ears as well as the really dark black on the outside. That looks really nice. Once I had these ears faded in I decided to add the balls on his glove. But seriously like what are those things? Anyways I added some shadows in to make it blend in better then I added some bone texture to the fingers. Some shadows actually made this look a lot better. It makes the fingers look way more round and just less flat. I then did it to the other side as well. I also added some shadows to the Grizzbolt's bolt. Then I realized I forgot to add this whole black thing on there, so I put that in with some nice shadows as well. Once again, I used the fur brush to mask it into the fur. I added some grass, then I realized I didn't have toes, so I had to draw in those little toes, but I really don't like the way they ended up looking, so I got rid of them a little bit later. Some mountains were in need, so I added those in and then cut them out. And using Photoshop's sky replacement tool, I just added in my own blue sky. I then added some nice glow in. To match that glow I obviously needed highlights so I put those all on the character. This was hard to do with the shadows that I had but I ended up finding something that worked. I even mimicked some of the hair just with these strokes right here. I added a glow to the outside of the grizz bolt and this just made it look all shiny and pretty nice actually. I then added a nice blur to the background just to make the character pop out a little more. Then I added some particles but then I realized I forgot to add teeth so yeah I put those things in. I put some shadows underneath him and that actually looked good already. After I finished all the individual shadows, I made some of his teeth yellow because, you know, they can't be like perfect. Then I added in this nice little tongue, put some shadows on it, and decided that it was time for a camera raw filter. After a little bit of just messing around with that, this is our final product. I hope you guys like this guy. I think he's pretty cool. He's a little funny looking, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. This guy is called Pyron. He's this fire horse thing and he looks pretty sick. I started by finding a horse to put in. I then started drawing the shapes of these little fire things on him. Using an exposure layer, I just brightened up those bright areas of the fire. Then I started adding some fire stock images just on top.
then added some separation between these little fire main things. I then made the horse that purple with those gold stripes on them. Then I started adding some glow. I put a fire texture over all these fire shapes. Then started masking out the fire with this smoke brush. I then started adding this nice glow over the top. Even more glow. Now I did some highlights. I then added some sparks over the top of all the fire. Now I'm adding a floor and a background. Now I added some shadows to the grounds and the walls. And some highlights to the ground as well. Then I started adding the ears. I made the eyes blue. Then some more shadows to the horse. Now adding some final stock images to the whole thing. And now a camera raw filter. And this is the final product. I hope you guys like this one. I apologize for there only being two monsters in this video. I was just running short on time and these guys took me quite a bit. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.